Hello everyone, it's Tech Tuesday, and you're watching Ask a Tech. We are at our marketing showroom in Elko, Indiana, and I am here with two of our LCI service experts, Brian and Brent. Brian, go ahead and tell everyone what you do with LCI and how long you've been on the team. Uh, yes, I've been with LCI almost three years, uh, axle, chassis, and step tech support. Awesome, and what are you going to be telling us about today? We're going to talk about the quickie and coach steps. Good deal. And then, Brent, how long have you been with LCI? I've been with LCI for nine years. And what do you do here? Uh, the last year I've been in customer service and axle chassis and steps. And then the last eight years prior, I was the actual service tech for Liberty. Awesome. And then what are you going to be talking about today? The solid steps. Perfect. Let's get started. Okay, Brian, you are up first. And we are here with one of our quickie step displays. First and foremost, what kind of a door switch do you need for a coach step versus if you upgrade to a quickie step? We get this question a lot. The older coach brand steps worked on a normally closed switch, meaning that when the door is shut, the switch is closed. Okay. The newer quickie steps, anything made after 2005, now has a normally open switch, meaning that when the door is shut, the switch is actually open and not seeing any um, conductivity. Okay, so it's a visible difference. Perfect. And then next up, go ahead and tell us how to test a motor. If we're looking at testing a motor, we want to be able to take the controller that's underneath and disconnect that completely from the motor. We have a motor right here. Now this is the Series 32 uh, Quickie Step Motor. We also have the Revolution Step Motor, which is a little bit different. This one has a direct motor linkage that goes right to the step and a drive shaft that runs the width of the step. Whereas this one has uh, a gearbox linkage which we'll use this linkage arm to open and close the step. If we're going to test the motor, we want to disconnect the power from the, uh, from the four-way pin connector, and then we also want to disconnect the controller from the motor gearbox. The red side of the motor is going to be the deploy, so that'll move the steps out. The yellow side will bring the steps in. So if we can take a 12-volt source from the battery, make sure it's grounded, if we touch one lead to this one, it should make the step go out. If we touch one lead to this one, it'll make it go in. And if it's working, great. If it's not, typically it's going to be the motor on these. Um, that's more common than the actual control. Okay, perfect. And then another thing I want to talk about is when someone calls in and they're asking about noises that they're hearing, there are actual differences between a noisy step and a squeaky step. Yes. What do those differences tell you guys? Okay, well the differences we see in the more common, the, the, the uh, 32 type of series step is uh, the gear inside this and the worm gear and another gear inside this, if they don't make good contact with each other, the motor's going to keep going until it gets enough resistance to shut itself off. Okay. So if there's any spot where those teeth are missing on any of the gears, it'll just keep going and going until it gets enough until it can shut off. Okay. And then like a squeaky step, if someone's got a squeaky step, is that when you need to look at lubing your steps? Do you need to clean it? Yes. Does it mean it's completely broken? A squeaky step would be just that. If it's coming out and going in and you're hearing the, it squeak a little bit or when you're on it, it's moving around, um, chances are pretty good. You want to just use a little bit of uh, quickie lube or uh, that type of product um, that will uh, just lubricate the joints on it. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Brent, let's talk about the solid step. This is one of our newer steps right now. We have a lot of people on social media asking how they can upgrade to it. It is an awesome step. It's very solid. Let's go ahead and just kind of go over it. We're gonna show you guys the step, as well as just go over some of the newer highlights and what you're visibly gonna be able to tell immediately how it differs from the other steps that we have. Right. It's the, uh, it actually folds up inside your door, which you can see, which is really nice. It's not out in the weather, uh, the inclement, conditions on the road as you can see the standard traditional step is. Uh, also too, you just flip the lever, pull it down, and normally you would adjust, it's got adjusting legs, so it's definitely going to be solid, more so than a conventional RV step, you don't get that spring, yep. okay, it does have a 13 inch uh, wide first step, which is great for coming in, in and out of the coach. Uh, it's just a really, really, really nice step. Yes, it's very popular very right solid. now. 
Um, one of the biggest things when someone calls in and they want to upgrade to this, they need to measure. I know that That's that is correct. something, it's got to be measured correctly yep. so we can get it right the first time around. Go ahead and walk me through how you actually measure for the solid step if it's something you're wanting to get. Okay. Well, the first thing you want to do is measure and measure your door opening, the widest part of your door opening. You grab your tape measure. This one is 29 and a quarter on the widest part of the door. So being 29 and a quarter, you would want to round up okay. to this one. Would you, you would want a 30 inch step. Round up. Perfect. Is that the only measurement we need to have? There's one more measurement. You want to measure from the threshold down to the ground. Okay. So we can tell how high yep. the step we need. That's going to tell us if you need a, a, a three or four step. Perfect. So this one's at about 42 inches. So this would be a four step. Okay. And then I do want you to flip it back up and show them the locking mechanism. This is something you and I have talked about before. Mm -hmm. As Brent said, it is a 29 and a quarter inches. You're going to tell me that I need a 30 inch step and I'm probably going to naturally panic and say, no, we're ordering wrong size. Correct. Why are we ordering the 30 inch and not doing exactly a 29 and a quarter? Why is it okay that we're rounding up on this? Okay. I'm going to lift this back up again. What we're actually measuring for is a locking mechanism right here. Okay. Yep, that's what we're lock that's what we're measuring for, not not the step. Perfect. And that's where a lot of people think that they're gonna get the wrong step. Good deal. So easy enough. Yep. Give us a phone call, get those two measurements, and you definitely can get the solid step for your unit. Thank you to everyone that watched us today. If you have any other questions or concerns about your steps, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below or shoot us a message. How do they get a hold of our customer service department? What's the phone number? 574-537-8900. And our email? Customer service at lci1.com. You can also contact us on the app or on the LCI customer service website where you will see our live chat. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Tech Tuesday.